Hello everyone and welcome back to this OPC vs Ronin GT Championship. Uh, just a little reminder of what the OPC uh, are, well who they are, it's the official PlayStation community. And they challenged Ronin GT to this championship. Uh, it's been a little break, uh, we're now back to race 5 of 6 and uh, let's have a look at the Drivers Championship at the moment. So that's how we stand currently after four rounds. So we have Dave in the lead there with Justin Go and Tijani following behind. Dave's still got a comfortable lead, uh, remembering that a win gets you 25 points. Uh, the highest OPC driver is uh, Gus72 uh, at the bottom of the top six there with uh, 26 points. Uh, so let's have a look at the constructors. And Runner GT have sealed the constructors. Uh, it's uh, impossible now for OPC to catch Ronan. Um, so now it's all about the drivers championship and that also means that everybody's competing against each other now so obviously you want to finish as high as you can uh, and as well as you can uh, coming towards the end of this championship so a little reminder how we've got to this point with Ronan winning the constructors and the, where the drivers championship is we're going to have a look at some of the highlights from the first four rounds so as we go into the highlights for this OPC versus Ronan GT uh, championship we started off with 16 drivers, as you can see there, um, all different varied skill levels, and then we kicked off with a full grid at Awesome Ring. As you can see, it's a huge grid, different coloured cars in Lupos, um, and yeah, it was just action, action, action. As you can see here, we're still on the first lap, and uh, it was just competing for the lead, and obviously everybody fighting for that position, and uh, yeah, we were just changing places, lots of action in the pack. As you can see there, people moving about all the time, bringing really close racing. So at the end of the first race, we're coming up to this point here where we have Gus from the OPC and Dave from Ronin GT fighting for that number one spot. They came around this last section of corners, coming to this last corner here, and then we all should remember what happened here. Uh, Gus went in, went in a bit too quick, ran a bit wide, leading him to go on the grass, forcing Dave then to take avoiding action from Gus when he comes back on, and then Dave took the lead. It also meant that Jutz got second place with Gus finishing in third. That was... Uh, the first race and obviously the, that's how the points finished obviously that's the drivers list from the first round and then that's how the constructors looked with Ronan taking a very early and big lead so then we went to Sakuba in the loop pose again this time with a reverse grid now uh, this was a very hectic obviously people got used to the cars so they were all going for it a bit more but we also had latency as well which was a real problem as you see there there's cars darting all over the place and all matter of positions changing uh, but Lord Ross came out of that first corner ahead and uh, yeah we're, as you can see we went through the race 2x2 two two here a bit like Noah's Ark um, but that was all racing everyone fighting for position and you know all sorts of drivers mixing together generating some really good racing obviously coming towards the end of that race we saw Dave and Fetz uh, really taking the lead there huge gap and the race did indeed finish that way with Dave coming in first and Fett's coming in second for the OPC. Uh, must remember Hake there, little mention to Hake again. Remember he was Mr. Consistent, uh, got a good position in the last race and got a good, posi good position in this race. Uh, which led to the Drivers' Championship looking like this, with uh, Dave at the top with nearly a race win in hand over Hake and then Fett's. Uh, and then uh, we've got two OPC guys in there at the moment, but Ronan took an even further lead uh, over OPC in the Constructors' Championship. So that was round two, went into round three, and a new car with the Griffith. Uh, so obviously black cars were the uh, running GT and blue was OPC and uh, this was absolutely amazing look at that Six, 16 well 15 Griffiths coming down to the first corner all clean racing obviously we have the lat latency issue but um, yeah you, you can't get better than that and Ronan really took an advantage here obviously the top seven guys there all Ronan and as you can see here still bathroom with each other this is where we got they got really commanding lead little mistake there from uh, Delaney then Dave moving to second position, minimising the point loss to Jut and Go, who won this race. And then obviously Dave finished in second, so, you know, trying to cement his position as the uh, top driver in the championship. <coughs> and then we had the uh, other three running guys there. It was all battling throughout the, throughout, uh, the race. You see ten laps of uh, ferocious ac action. And then we came over the brow of the hill and then across the line. And that's where we finished that race. So that's how the championship looked after that, with Dave still with a a huge margin of 21 points and uh, the OPC guys falling a bit further down the order and then obviously Ronan there a huge huge lead by this point and it was very very difficult for OPC to catch up so we went into round four with uh, Delaney on pole at Trial Mountain 
now once again obviously we're going to see 15 Griffiths race round this track and you'll see some amazing action from the highlights as you can see there people darting straight in front there was Fetz uh, also one of the top six contenders in the drivers championship and then just look at this in a second we have uh, a three four five worth across of Griffiths absolutely insane uh, and it led to good battling Dave had a bit of a shocker in this race he was in 12th position um, and then uh, we have Tishney and Mr. Consistent there, Hake as well, uh, maintaining his consistency and uh, yeah, just uh, finishing third again. He did have Jut and Go there right on his tail and uh, I can't remember if he actually uh, kept that position, it looks like he did indeed keep that position and then yeah, Hake came third in that race. So we know what the Drivers' Championship's like now, uh, if we revisit that. Uh, so Mr. Consistent, Hake there on 50 points but uh, Dave's still got a very commanding lead. So what we're going to do now, we're going to jump straight into the next race. Now, remembering, this is the last car now, so we've got a new car, and it's going to be the NSX uh, LM prototype. And uh, we're going to have Tishney on pole with Gus, and then Dave, uh, Decker, Jutt there as well, Delaney, NAT, Fetz, Sombrero, and Maximo, making out top 10. And we have 14 drivers in this race, so let's get going. We'll follow, uh, put the pole position off, uh, as we've been doing previously. And uh, yeah, well, let's see how this goes. And then we've got a good, pretty good start there by everybody. We've got some movement in the back of the field. We've got some white NSXs in there as well. Uh, a bit further back in the field, but it looks like Tishney has kept the lead there. You have Gus in second. Uh, Dave ran a bit wide there. It looked like Dave ran really wide. Uh, Dave has run wide. He's just come back on the track there. Um, we we're trying to catch with Dave, the championship leader. He's dropped to seventh place. So I think he was in third initially. It looks like System Deck has moved up into second place. Oh, got a spin in there. Uh, who was that spinning? That looked like Gus72. He's dropped way, way back. It was Gus72. Uh, he had a really good start there. He was in second, dropped to third, and then he's just completely dropped it and gone down to 13th place. So all kicking off really early on. This mid-pack looks absolutely busy as... Uh, if we jump a bit further forward where Dave is, uh, obviously the championship leader at the moment, uh, we're going to come into uh, Degna 1 and 2 here. And there's a lot of action here. Dave, oh, Dave got tapped on the inside there by Stiggy. Could have been latency, remember. Uh, a lot of drivers on track. It, that can be an issue. It's going to come into this sharp hairpin corner here. Uh, what an awesome view that is. You can see, oh, somebody's coming very, very sharp. <laughs> that was very close. Uh, you don't expect that very often. I wonder who that was. Uh, it looked like Sombrero uh, came in very, very, very fast. Uh, but managed to slow it down quick enough. So we're going to jump towards the front here, we've got Fetz and Dave fighting here for 4th position. Uh, it looks like Fetz has run a bit wide here, and Dave will have taken that 4th position away from him. Um, Fetz is going to have to watch out for Stiggy Gonzalez now, so we'll jump with Stiggy, see what he does coming down this straight, going up to the uh, 130R. Uh, we've got somebody spinning in the background, that looks like Maximo! There he is, oh! Good job he went invisible. Uh, lucky that was a game and not reality, because that would have been one heck of a crash. Uh, so we're going to jump back to Stiggy quickly, uh, he was well, uh, Stiggy's run really wide there, 130R, luckily it's not gravel, he can manage to come back on, it is a bit dirty there, can get a bit slippy if you do run wide. So this is the, coming around to the first lap completed, Tishney and System Deck do have a big advantage over the rest of the field, but I'm sure um, NAC and Dave will want to close that gap, and we've got the field spreading out a bit now as well. Um, obviously these cars are going to be more difficult than the previous two, uh, we've sort of gone up in difficulty level each time. So this is where now uh, the gaps will open up even more. And oh we've got, uh, is that Dave running wide? Dave has run wide again! Dave has run wide! Uh, that's going to compromise him. And I believe Stiggy's just got him, yep, that, he's lost two positions there to Fetz and Stiggy Gonzalez. And he could lose a further one to Jut and Go, remember these two are battling for the uh, championship here, the drivers championship. Constructors is sealed now for Ronan, so it is all about the Drivers' Championship. Uh, so they will be racing each other as hard as they possibly can. And uh, yeah, we've got a steady gap otherwise between those two. We'll stick with uh, this battle at the moment between Jut and Go and Dave. This could be very, very interesting coming into this uh, Degna 1 and 2. And they're going to come round, and yeah, it's just nose to tail at the moment. No huge action, but we want to stay with this. Uh, they're also catching Stiggy Gonzalez again if we look at the front of this battle. Uh, we'll see if Dave wants to make a move. Obviously he wants to try and put as many cars in between him and Justin Goes. Oh, we've got Sticky Gonzalez losing the rear end of the car there. Uh, got away with it, thankfully. He did catch that. 
and manages to keep his fifth position. So this is the main battle at the moment in the field. We've had a few people lose it. There's a uh, quite a few gaps uh, opening up further back, like massive gaps as well. So we could have back markers in this one. Uh, looking at these guys. Oh, we've got just a go. I think just a goes just lost. Oh, he's caught it. He's caught it. That was very very close. Uh, it was a rather big slide, but he's lost him a bit of time there. He's lost it from the uh, lost the rear end of Dave there, so he's not going to get as much slipstream as he wanted. But Dave is going to be all over Stiggy Gonzalez, and Stiggy is catching Fett now as well. So uh, we went from one freeway battle to another, and it looks like Stiggy's run wide, and Dave has uh, overtaken Stiggy. It's like Stiggy's got a penalty for all running wide there. Uh, so I'm looking there for Stiggy, and it could let Jut and Go free maybe? No, Jut and Go's a bit further behind. So this is where mistakes are key to, like, you're not getting mistakes basically. Stiggy got a penalty, Jut needed to be there to get that position off him. So we've got Dave now attacking Fetz. Uh, he could go for it, he's going for it in the first corner, and he's got him. Excellent move there by Dave. Uh, he's ran wide twice at this corner previously, but he's managed to do an overtaking move and stay on the track this time. So Dave is now into fourth position and uh, put a few cars in between him and Jutt. Now uh, for the championship, there was uh, obviously Dave was on 70 points, Jutt was on 59, Tichney was on, Tichney was on 58. So Dave still has to try and keep as much of a of his points gap as he can in the championship. So he wants to keep chasing up to uh, NAC and Decker there. Uh, Decker's not a system deck; it's just a little nickname. Um, we'll see how NAC is doing. He's dropped really far off system deck uh, so quite a few gaps opening up let's have a look at the live timing so we have a fast lap of 2 minutes 4.4 .4 for Tijani and we've got system deck and NAC they've got very close fast laps there not even a temp split in that and then we've got uh, Dave. oh Dave's dropped off what's happened to Dave he's gone off at Degna too I completely missed that and just saw his name dropping down uh, that is very bad news for Dave there, that's going to compromise his championship hugely. Uh, he had a 20, no, 11 point gap uh, between him and Jutt and that is going to disappear. Uh, remember it's only top 10 that get points and he's really far back. Uh, so Jutt and Go is in 6th position, is he anywhere near? Uh, oh he's right on the tail of Fetz 81 here and Stiggy's got in front of Fetz as well so let's see what Jutt and Go can do. See if he can overtake him. Uh, at 130R, which would be a very, very uh, insane manoeuvre. I've never seen really much overtaken here, but I've seen it afterwards coming up to the chicane. Is he going to go through the inside? Is he going to go? I can't tell. No, he's backed off it. Well defended there by Fetz. Uh, I thought there was a bit of latency issue there, and I thought they'd hit each other, but they're still on, so they're going to come round now. Start lap four of this eight lap race at Suzuka. Um, it's a figure of eight track if you have noticed at the map, but uh, we'll just continue to watch this battle. Uh, we'll split, we'll just put the map on to display the entire map there, see what's happening. Uh, we could have definitely going to have a back marker at some point looking at this map. Uh, we've got a close battle going on here between is that Sombrero and Robin, I believe. It is. And then obviously, we've got. Just and go on Fetz as well. We're just going to stay with this battle as it's more of the uh, driver championship uh, issue here. Uh, we'll see what Jut and Go can do in this in situation. Uh, best overtaking move, I would say, would probably be going up to the hairpin now. If uh, unless Jut and Go gets a really good um, slipstream here, no, he's staying behind. Obviously, he's trying to plan a manoeuver. Uh, that would be where I would uh, obviously go for the overtake there at the hairpin. Oh, he's got him! I have never seen a move like that before. Fetz ran a bit wider. Jutago took a huge advantage there. And he's got himself up to fifth position. Uh, so that was a good move there. And he's just defending it off now as well, making sure Fetz doesn't take him back. And then he's coming round. So we've got Sombrero and uh, Robin still fighting as well. And we'll just have a look at this battle. As uh, bit of a gap there between those two. So we'll stick with this and we'll see if Fetz can uh, re-overtake Jut here. See if he can get back into fifth position. But uh, Jut and Go, oh look at that, that's perfect corner in there at Spoon Corner. Bit of understeer there, you can see the wheels are more angled than the actual car is turning. So obviously they've got a bit of power these cars. And I think Jut and Go is pulling out a bit of a gap now towards uh, Fetz. And we've got... S yep, now nah, everyone's on track at the moment. We'll jump back to the live timing. Oh we got oh that was Fetz running a bit wide. He's kept it on. Had to back off a bit though to make sure he kept that on. 
Uh, we'll see what Dave's doing. Dave's managed to get back into the points. He's now in 10th. And his next uh, driver is catching is Delaney. So we'll see. Oh, Delaney has actually run a bit wide. This is going to compromise him hugely down the straight. Dave should have this if he gets in the slipstream straight away as well. Let's see the speed comparisons. Ooh, exactly the same pretty much. So we're coming down to the uh, first corner here. And he's, Dave is definitely catching. Oh, he's run wide again! Uh, Dave definitely doesn't like this corner. Um, <laughs> I think he's gone wide there more than he's actually stayed on the track, which is unfortunate because um, it's going to cost him a lot in the uh, driver championship. Got a uh, Jory 1919 Gus here having a bit of a battle uh, in a white NSX. Jory is racing for OPC, as is Gus. And uh, they're ca oh, Delaney's had a bit of an off there. Delaney's gone off again. Let's see what Delaney is. He's there. He is going very slowly. Had a bit of an issue there going through the um, the lefts and rights there, and we've got an overtaking maneuver there. We've got Jury and Gus still fighting each other. Jury looked like he had a bit of sideways action, and then we've got Gus really fighting hard behind him. And Jury's oh, Jury's had a bit of more sideways action. He's getting a bit sideways, being very aggressive with the uh, the throttle there, but he's managed to keep it on track. And we'll just see what. Uh, oh no, Gus has actually got ahead. Where did? The completely missed that overtake. Um, it must have been on the exit of Degna 2 there because of the way the camera was but Gus has managed to overtake. Uh, I missed that briefly. I was looking at the map as well to see if we have any more battles but we'll have a look at the live timing screen. See what's happening on there. Uh, so Tishney is the only one in the 204 still. We've got a uh, distant deck on a 205 and uh, we've got Dave Oh, Dave and uh, who's that? Gus and Dave have very similar faster slaps there. Look at that, you've got six thousandths between them. So it's all calming down a bit now here at Suzuka. Uh, we're just going to jump with the second place battle, it looks like. It looks like NAC is over. Uh oh, no, sorry, it's uh, Stiggy Gonzalez catching NAC there. I was a bit confused there by the map, so let's jump to this full view. Let's see what's going to happen with this battle. Stiggy has run a bit wide there, managed to control it well, just come back, uh, which is good. Uh, but a lot of people having problems with that first corner, obviously a difficult corner, Dave's having issues, Stiggy looks like he's having issues, and um, I'm assuming a lot of people are having issues looking at the map, there's a few arrows moving left and right, we do have another close battle further down the field, I believe that's going to be that's Robin and Jut and Go. Now Jut and Go was ahead of Robin, and uh, Sombrero was racing... Uh, Robin as well. So what's happened here? Because that's completely changed everything here. Uh, Jut and Go should pull away again, I believe, um, as he does have one. Of th somebody at the back has just had a bit of a spin. Looking at those arrows. Uh, let's have a look at that. Who was that? It was Skells. Skells, unfortunately, having a bit of a spin there. Uh, having a bit of issue with the car. Obviously, the car's very hard to control. Uh, we're just going to jump back to this NAC and Stiggy Gonzalez battle. Is that is still happening? And he, well, uh, looks like um, NAC's pulled a bit of a gap to Stiggy now. So uh, obviously putting a bit of breathing space between them. Uh, we're at Spoon Corner here. As we go round, he's run a bit wide there. I have to watch out for Stiggy if he's got a really good exit. Oh, looks like Stiggy's lost it. Stiggy lost it. Ooh, bits. The rear was going on that car, but uh, he's managed to hold it, fortunately. Uh, Tishney with a huge gap now uh, as the system deck to the uh, rest of the field. Um, as you can see there with the lap times, absolutely crazy lap times there. And uh, yeah, we're just looking for any battles in the field at the moment, looking for the action. Um, we've got Dave who's in ninth place now. He's got Gus on his tail. Uh, is Gus going to overtake him? Obviously Dave's been having issues at the first corner, so it'd be very interesting to see how Dave reacts this time round uh, at the first corner. Oh, has Gus gone on the inside? No, Gus has, uh, Dave's defended that off. It did look like Gus was having a bit of a look in the, uh, inside there of Dave, coming up to that chicane after the 130R. Uh, but they're going to come onto the straight now. Now, Dave's going to have a slipstream off Sombrero, and then Gus is going to have a slipstream off Dave. So, um, we'll see how Dave reacts coming into this first corner. It's been a bit of a bogey corner for him so far. And he's kept, oh, whoa, we've got a huge off there! 
That was Gus going off. Gus has completely lost it. He's in the gravel trap at the moment, trying to come back on. Um, absolute insane. <laughs> that was absolutely an insane loss there. It looked like the rear just went on him as he underbrake him. But now we've got Dave on Sombrero. Now, um, Sombrero, obviously they are teammates, but um, Sombrero's teammates are jut and go as well as Dave, so I assume he won't let him by, and he will have to race himself by him. So we've got Dave now, he's going round, round to Degna 1 and 2. Um, not really an overtaking place, although we did see Jut and Go do an overtaking move earlier. And he's ran wide a bit there as uh, Sombrero, and that's meant Dave has come through into 8th position now. Obviously trying to minimise the point loss to Jut and Go there. And uh, yeah, that's Dave now through to 8th place. His next target would be Robin for 7th place. Possible to still catch him. Um, obviously the overtaking move is something else as well. He can't make many mistakes though, on, on, at that point. So, we're just going to have a look at the live timing, and we have, let's have a look. We still have 2 minute 4 as the fastest lap. Uh, we've got Gus on a 205.6 there, further back in the field in 10th, but, you know, that's a good fast lap. Similar to System Deck, so obviously Gus's position, he could be much further up the field. And, uh, yeah, we've got a big, big space. I think this is the biggest spacing out of cars we've had in this championship so far. Um, we've got um, Fett and uh, Justin Go. that is, so Justin Go is obviously going to try and fight for this position as well. Obviously Dave's moving up the field, Justin Go needs to keep moving up the field for this Drivers' Championship. Oh, he's got a good run on him coming on the straight here, got a very good run on him, going for the inside, and he's got a clean overtake move, may even have a chance to come back over to take the racing line. And he's, yeah, he's done that perfectly there, that's a good overtake move by Justin Go. Uh, getting the fifth position there from Fett, and uh, I'm not sure whether he could get any more positions from um, this race. We're on the last lap now, so we have to push hard to get any more positions. And we're just going to jump back to Dave because Dave was obviously catching uh, some uh, Robin. All bit of a twitch there. Shows you how twitchy these cars are. Maybe the issue why uh, people are struggling in the first corner as well. So Dave's really going to have to push here to get any more positions. Obviously Jut and Go just made another position up to uh, try and catch Dave in the Drivers' Championship. It's good leads to an epic last race actually um, with his point gaps. Remember Tishney was only one point off Jut and Go and Jut and Go was only 11 points off Dave. So this, this could make for an epic last race, an absolutely epic one. And the last race is going to be at Nürburgring, um, which will be uh, very good. Not the Nordschleife, the uh, Grand Prix track obviously. And uh, it should make for a in very interesting last race. Lots of overtaking places. And uh, yeah, it should hopefully bring some racing action. Uh, well, good racing action for the last race of the season. So we're just coming round now. Uh, we'll see where Tishney is on there. He's about to come round and finish the race there. A uh, huge, huge gap to System Deck, who is approaching the 130R. And we've got NAC, who is approaching a lapped car, I believe. Uh, if we can somehow get that. Yeah, that's Skells there. Uh, trying to move out the way. He's gone way out to let the cars by there, which is good. But Stiggy Gonzalez didn't manage to catch NAC up enough there. Uh, we've got Jut and Go. <coughs> and is Jut and Go anywhere near there? No, he's got Skells there in front of him, and Skells has gone past. So looking further down the field, Dave is in 7th place, he's overtaken Robin. Uh, I completely missed that, looking at uh, what was happening everywhere else. Robin must have made a mistake there. Um, and we'll get to have a look at that. Oh, who's that? Dave, Dave spanned on the last corner. Dave was just spanned on the last corner. And he's going to lose another position uh, to Sombrero. He's going from 7th to 9th on the last corner. That's cost him big time there for the championship. And at this point we are going to pause it to make sure we catch everything on the live timing. And let's have a look at what happened. So from this live timing, obviously we've got Tijney there, who's won. We've got System Deck in second. NAC, good race for NAC. He's got a third place and Stiggy in fourth. A good OPC showing for this one. We have uh, Drunk Go in fifth position. Vets in sixth position. And then we've got Robin, Sombrero and Dave. If you look at Robin's time, it looks like he did spin in the uh, the middle sector there. Uh, it looks like Vets had an issue as well in the middle sector. And uh, Dave obviously spanned on the last corner. That was very unfortunate. Obviously, you want to get the power down early just to finish finish off the race. Uh, but got the power down a bit too early, and the rears just span up, and he's gone sideways. 
So we've got Gus there finishing in 10th place with the, with the last point, and uh, looks like Gus had a major problem as well. Oh yeah, that was that last uh, first corner, was it, where he spanned completely off into the gravel trap. Uh, got a good fast lap though, over 2 minutes 5.6. Then we've got Delaney, Maximo, Drury, and then we finish with Skells, who was unfortunately was the lap down. So that was the fifth race of the OPC versus Ronan GT Championship. Uh, that's going to bring the Drive Championship very, very close for the last race, uh, making it a grand finale. I didn't write the script for this, so that would be very, very good. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys uh, next week at Nürburgring in the NSX for the last round of the Ronan GT versus OPC Championship. Cheers for watching.